Hi everybody, the Mature Simmer here. So welcome back to Coast to Coast series. So uh, I've definitely gotten some intriguing viewpoints at this point because now that um, I've got the dealership out in the area that does have SCS maps, I could run things directly out of Gillette, Wyoming. But what I think I'm going to be working on, uh, because ultimately progressing is based on distance, and one of the things that this certainly opens for me is the ability to go significantly longer distances on the U.S. side than I was ever able to just staying within uh, the default SCS maps, where once I got to the fifth or sixth skill level of distance, which got me to 2,500 miles, nothing was approaching that because there just isn't that much distance there, but we do have that ability now that I can drive cross-country. So what I've decided pretty quickly um, is I'm going to keep moving west, and I'm going to keep trying to take jobs that get me further and further west, so that eventually once I get it to six or seven skill points, I'm fully connected and able to run, you know, a 3,500, maybe even a 4,000 mile run uh, and take advantage of that because especially if I'm going, you know, again down to Mexico and so forth here and then up, um, you know, there's some significant mileage that I think can occur here. So anyway, with that in mind, I'm going to take this aircraft engine job because it's moving me further west and it pays relatively well. And that's the logic I'm going to use as I go forward is kind of the strategy that I'm talking about. So here I am getting close to the end of this run. I thought I had been recording earlier and turns out I wasn't so this will be a very very short episode because I'm at this point about seven minutes away from the end so let me go back over what I thought I had shared earlier but clearly hadn't recorded um, so I know I, I you know we had talked about I've got a strategy where I'm going to continue to head west my goal is basically because I think once we get the f past the fifth or sixth skill point, um, we should, you know, we'll be able to get at the sixth skill point the longest runs we have. And so part of my curiosity is just how long those will be with the combination of maps that I've got loaded here. And I'm not sure if going corner to corner, like say Washington State to Florida or, you know, LA up to Maine will be my longest distances or if I go down to southern Mexico and then come all the way up to like northeast Canada will that be the longest so that's part of certainly what my curiosity is with this combination that's going to take some time to get there but I think it might happen faster than even I may be aware because what I'm be what I'll be curious even in this case is I may get two skill points just from this run, which will unlock I think over a thousand miles already, and this will probably well at this point this is a very short episode anyway. But initially I was saying this would likely be the last episode where I'm not doing either significant amounts of time lapse or several jump cuts to just move things along because we're going to be at over an hour pretty quickly on some of these runs and especially if I've got three or four thousand mile runs once I get the far distance I mean I, I may not even do those in one play session let alone uh, placing them in one video because there'd just be no interest I mean because we'd be looking at four or five hours at least to get those runs done. The other piece that I had talked about is just the scenery of the maps because in the interim uh, between the last episode and this one 
I've been working on the Christmas event that SCS has had about the Christmas of yesteryear, so I've been doing a lot of driving in the SCS official content locations on the west western half of the U.S. And then contrasting that with having been on these on this coast to coast map here over in the Midwest and how basic this is. I mean here at least we have some trees. Uh, what you had missed is as I was leaving Chicago and heading out west there were just some anomalies where the road was going up and you could basically see like the land was just suspended in midair where it was clear how these mappers just haven't had the ability to truly check every area of the map and make sure it's doesn't have any visual anomalies because there it was pretty clear like the world was just ending at that portion of of the map and because it was a little bit flatter you could see to the edge and as it was rising up in the sky you could see you know kind of like off to the left I think we're having something similar happening where you can see this like gap of sky with then something above it and it was more pronounced than what we were seeing before but you just don't have those on the SCS side where they've got the ability to make sure that they've thoroughly checked every piece and I, they've obviously probably got more people working on it than the individual or small group of individuals that work on these maps. The other thing is the GPS sometimes doesn't clearly give good directions so at an interchange like this that's coming up as I was leaving Minneapolis it had me told me to exit right and then it immediately told me I was recalculating and then I had to circle around and waste more time so that's why I just wanted to check this now in go case it on. all right now it's telling me go straight on where outside of Minnesota it told me to head north which was taking me to Duluth which seemed wrong and was wrong um, and so yeah we should be there even though my uh, player is getting tired, he's yawning. Because we got two hours, it's telling us we've got 20 in-game minutes to get there. Initially, we were going to get there at 6 p.m., but we're clearly getting there later because of some of the circling around. And the gaps in gas stations almost had me run out of gas as well. So there's definitely some challenges with these expansion maps you know and they're understandable because obviously the lack of resources the fact that they're free and so forth you know because they do make attempts like this like Minneapolis had some buildings but there was also a huge gap in exits to the point where I thought I wasn't I wasn't going to be able to get out of the gas station Um, get on, get ag exit to get to the gas station, and luckily I was okay. But then once I was done, I had to nearly circle all the way around the city. So that's part of what added on the substantial amount of time. Because in essence, I circled Minneapolis twice, once to get gas, because I had to get off at the second exit. Because by the time I s saw the first exit, the gas station, I was past the first exit. And then I had to wait for the second one, which I almost thought wasn't going to happen because there was such a large gap between them. And then the second time I had to circle around because of the misrouting of the GPS. So, Get ready to turn left. so there's definitely pros and cons. And other than the longer distance, um, there's definitely less going on. And there, you know, I would certainly not hesitate replacing these maps with official ones once they come out because they're certainly a lot more in depth than what these are. Do I go back here? Yeah, I think so. There it is. So yeah, the one thing I was saying is this is a little simpler here 
to park because the double trailer I can't back in, so I should just be able to end this quickly and then we'll see what kind of experience we get. There we go. So we may just get a simple parking multiplier. Yep. So 15, huh? We may only go up one point. No, we did go up two. It's close, though. Right, so we'll add both points here, and then, yes, that actually gets us up to 1,600 miles. Um, but the part I was sharing on the video I couldn't record is even when I was up to 2,500 miles uh, with the maps that SCS provides, I really haven't had a run even over 2,000 miles. Where here, I, I know that that won't be an issue because I, a, I know how large the United States is and there are runs coast to coast that way. Uh, I'll just be curious once again how big we get and if we're going to exceed the 2,500. So to see that, I obviously need to max out my points. So my first six points are going to go there just because of that. So that's all I've got for this episode. I will see you next time and we'll see what I'm going to get into there.